So in this section, we're going to look at differential equations. Now, differential equations is something that we've come across before. If we had an equation that had a dy by dx in it, then we would be referring to this as a differential equation. Okay, So it has a derivative within the equation. So it makes sense to say that. Now, when we've got something just like this, dy by dx equals 2x plus 1, so dy by dx is a function of x, then all we need to do is just integrate both sides, effectively. So this will integrate back to y, and we integrate the 2x plus 1 to get x squared plus x plus some constant c of integration. So what we get here is what is referred to as a general solution. Okay, because this curve, because of that plus c, we don't have a specific value for it, so it could be really any real value. So this actually gives you a whole family of parabolas. Each one has a different value of c. Okay, however, they all solve this original equation. But then you might say, well, I want the solution to uh, this differential equation where the curve goes through a particular point. So let's say it goes through 5, 5, for example. So what that does is it picks out that particular curve. So we can substitute in the 5, 5. So we get 5 equals 25 plus 5 plus C. So that's 30. Take 30, so minus 25 is C. So we get Y equals X squared plus X minus 25. So this is a particular solution to the original differential equation. This is what we would call a particular solution. OK, so once we've used um, a boundary condition, initial conditions, whatever you want to call them, uh, a point that we know that the curve goes through, we can substitute in to work out the value of the constant in order to then give us the particular solution. That is solving a basic differential equation. Now, the situation that we're going to be dealing with is where instead of having just dy by dx as a function of x, like we have there, we might have something like this, where dy by dx is a function of both x and y. Now, there are going to be certain cases where we are going to be able to use a method called uh, separation of variables in order to solve that. And that's really the only differential equation method that we look at on this course. Now, there are plenty of others. Differential equations is a wide-ranging topic um, which um, can lead into because this is a first-order differential equation, can lead into other variations of that. There are methods to solve different first-order differential equations. You can get onto second-order differential equations that have d2y by dx squared in them. There are different methods for that. Um, then the topic branches out uh, to look at partial differential equations and so on and so forth. And it's a, a wide-ranging wide topic um, where we're just really just uh, touching the surface here. Okay? So next video, uh, we'll be looking at the method of separation of variables. We'll see how we can use that to solve a differential equation uh, that looks something like that.